Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single mask in the world. Today we're looking at FDA cleared masks. That's right, that we could not find on Amazon, so we had to reach out to the manufacturers themselves. This is the Flu Care mask. Interesting name. Let's put it in the clamper and see how it tests. This is a very small mask. I like the mask. I like my mask to be square. I guess this is square. I'm just seeing bigger masks. The bigger the mask is, the more breathable it's going to be because there's more breathable area. Let's let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out more about this guy, I'll put a link up there. But we are doing the same test that the FDA uh, or uh, an ASTM lab would be testing uh, to make sure that this is meeting standards. This is made by the Nexos Technology in Germany. Oh, this is a German mask. Okay, this may be the first German mask that we've had in the clamper. Interesting. Wait, but this is in Chinese now. Hold on, maybe that's the distributor? Okay. Okay, this is really interesting. So they were holding to the 32610 standard in 2016, not the ASTM standard. Which, is, and Brune Medical Co. Let's see this. There's a lot of things that are not lining up here. All right, let's open this up and see how well it does. I think this is a German manufacturer making something in China. I think that's what it is. It's a very high quality mask. Um, Spunbon is giving me that cloud effect, which is, that's pretty good. I can tell it's gonna break. This is probably, of the 510K uh, mask that we've had, it's probably the weakest ear loops. This is a, I'm gonna call this smell a not new car smell. What I mean by that is a car that's perfectly clean, but it just doesn't smell like a new car anymore, which is a first for me for, for, for a medical mask. But yeah, it's a really good quality mask. All the welds seem to be lining up. It's just the, the ear loops I feel like could be a little bit stronger. I don't think it's gonna break on your face though. If I do, like that kind of a situation. Nah, nah, it's pretty good. I remember, this is an FDA cleared mask. This needs to do 98% or better on this machine. And there it is. Faith has been restored in humanity. <laughs> We had so many masks that were failing before. I was starting to wonder if I was going crazy, if my machine was broken. I stopped to recalibrate it a couple times uh, just to make sure, but there it is. That's a good quality mask. You can't buy it on Amazon, but uh, if you happen to find the uh, flu care mask anywhere, um, I think you probably trust that company. It seems like they do a pretty good job. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will uh, catch you on the next test, which by the way, Tomorrow at 10 a.m. That's right, every single day we're dropping new masks. See you then.